Kyoto Station in Japan. I'm Chris. And today we're going to be showing you around this station, Kyoto Station. When most people think of Kyoto, they think of ancient Japan. But Kyoto Station is the exact opposite. It seems like something more out of Star Trek than out of samurai culture. Uh, the station was opened in 1997, and it is quite a sight to behold. A lot of people come to Kyoto to see the temples. Uh, I come to see the train station. I mean, I mean the temples. The temples, that's what I'm here to see. One of the coolest things I think about Kyoto Station is the 12 floor escalator. It goes from the ground floor all the way up to the 12th floor, which is the restaurant floor of the station. It's pretty fun to go up. It's even better to go down because there's an amazing view of the station. Ride it a few times. It's free. You can't go wrong with free. The escalator on both sides is flanked by the JR Isitan department store. Now, once you make it to the top of the escalator, you can see a view of Kyoto through a slightly tinted window. I'm not sure why the window's tinted. Maybe so that you don't have to wear sunglasses. Pretty smart. Just to the side of the viewing platform is a small Japanese garden terrace. On the 11th floor, one floor below the rooftop terrace, is the restaurant floor, where there is a large selection of Japanese and other restaurants. On the weekends, this place can be packed, either come early or be prepared to wait. On the 10th floor is Laman Alley, a collection of some of the best ramen restaurants. This one is from Kyoto and it specializes in chicken ramen. You order at a vending machine and then you get in line. Come at off hours, otherwise you'll be waiting for quite a while. Part of the reason for the long waits is the shops are all pretty small. I'd say most of them seat somewhere between 15 and 30 people. All the shops here operate on the vending machine ordering principle. Pretty simple. Most of them have pictures right on the vending machine. At the back of Ramen Alley is the entrance to the Kyoto Station Skyway. A glass bridge that bridges the gap across the escalator. The roof of the main part of the train station is known as the Matrix, and the square pattern is designed to resemble the square pattern streets in downtown Kyoto. I have to say, it's really more interesting from the outside than on the inside. But it is long. Have your walking shoes on for this walk. One highlight of the Skyway is this neat little viewing nook where you can see the Kyoto Tower Hotel. The Kyoto Tower was built in 1964 to correspond with the Summer Olympics held in Tokyo, and it was designed to resemble a Japanese candle. If you're taking a bus to a destination Kyoto, the main bus station is just in front of that tower. And I will point out for you electronics lovers, just behind the Kyoto Tower Hotel is Kyoto Yodabashi. Japan's biggest and best electronic store. And while we're talking about things outside the station, let's talk about ATMs. There aren't any inside, and the closest are at the Kyoto Central Post Office across the street. If you happen to be passing through Kyoto Station at nighttime, head up that long escalator, and the staircase right next to it has a light show with corresponding music. The best place to watch it is about halfway up the staircase, because that's where you can really see the lights and really hear the music. Okay, so what else is there to see at Kyoto Station? I feel like I'm forgetting something. We talked about the restaurants, we talked about the shops, we talked about the view. Oh, that's right, the trains. It is a train station after all. There's so much to see and do here, sometimes you could even forget there is a train station in the middle of it all. In total, there are 25 tracks that run to or through this station. 15 of them are operated by JR on the Takedo Line, the Nara Line, and the Sagano Line. Four lines are run by the Kintetsu Corporation on the Kyoto Line. Two more lines are underground for the Kyoto Municipal Subway. And finally, there are four tracks above all the other tracks that serve the Tokaido Shinkansen. So if your travels take you to Kyoto, Japan to admire the temples, make sure you also allocate some time to enjoy the train station. Thanks for watching. Click here to subscribe. You might be interested in some of these other videos from Kyoto, Japan. Click here to watch cherry blossoms at the Hirano Shrine in Kyoto. Or click in the upper right to see cherry blossoms from the Kyoto National Garden.